Hey guys, before we get this party started, I want to take a quick minute to give a shout out to our sponsors and friends of the program, Live Nation CO and uh, Fillmore Denver. As Denver Fillmore Auditorium celebrates their 20th anniversary around the sun, we're stoked to be partnering up with them for 2020 campaign as well. So be sure you're following those guys at Live Nation CO on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and the Fillmore Denver at Fillmore Den, D-E-N, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for show announcements, ticket giveaway, swag bags, and more. Um, we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, and thank you, Katie, for joining us, and thank you, Aubrey, for getting us all together. Cheers. The suppression of the use of marijuana and of the forces lurking behind it are the most important jobs this department is now engaged in. In 1930, the records on marijuana in the Washington office of the Narcotics Division scarcely filled a small folder like this. Today, they fill cabinets. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Coloradians, and everyone that's smart enough to listen from the outside. One of the most amazing plants we've ever discovered. The pot party, the trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and flying high as a cup. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another week of Stone de Petit with your hosts, as always. You got your boy Kip, and I got my boy to the right, Bama. How are you today, Bama? Dude, I'm excited to be here. We're at Lola again. It's been uh it's been a minute since we came here after the renovation and we got a cool guest today. Yeah, well we'll let our listeners be decided Apparently. that. Yeah. Yeah. Just We've heard. I, just because I think we she's just cool. Met, like three minutes ago. Yeah. Just because <laughs> Okay, I, well yeah. Then <laughs> fuck us, right? Up for debate. Yeah, well, so we'll let the listeners be the deciding factor of that. But that uh that third voice you hear, that's Miss Katie Laser from Eat Denver. Katie, thank you so much for joining us today. So psyched to be here. Yeah, you say that now, but about an hour and a half in, you're gonna be like, Jesus, I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. Hour and a half. I gotta go in thirty minutes. Uh, doubt it. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually last 30 minutes, and most of the women I've slept with can vouch for that, so you're safe. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to give a shout out to Lola Coastal Mexican Restaurant. We're down here. It's about 1575 Boulder Street. For those that don't know, it's in the Loja District. It's um, it's right there at the Clusterfuck Five Way. You would take a right coming out of downtown. It's right there on Boulder Street. Gorgeous view. And probably since some of our listeners have been here last, they've done a renovation in the last six months. They've painted the walls they've changed the decor it's a a much more open vibe now and they have a gnarly happy hour so we're here for taco tuesday but we're also here because we have one of the best colorado stocking stuffers that everyone needs to know about before christmas gets here and we're here to talk about it so we do thank katie again but we also thank lola for uh for hosting us and having us i want everyone to go around the table and tell everyone what the happy hour drink of choice that they're having today because lola's happy hour deals are second almost to none bardo may be the only place with a better happy hour special than lola i'm sitting here sipping on a, a full-bodied cab that roughly runs around five dollars i'm gonna get blasted for this episode <laughs> danger danger yeah you say that i hadn't even said the c word so we'll see you'll know when we're drunk uh but yeah everyone go around and tell us what you're having here today to drink just so our listeners know of the crazy libations and then we'll get this shit on the road all right uh i'm having a negroni mezcal Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's well, pretty tasty. It's there we a little go. different than your yeah. traditional one with gin. There we go. And Katie, what are you sipping on? I'm having one of my favorite cocktails ever, uh, the Fuego Margarita. And what did we teach you about the microphone? on fire. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm back. Uh, hello, the Fuego yeah. Margarita. <laughs> nice and spicy for Taco Twos. There you go. So for those that maybe like a little bite with their drink, there is a Fuego Margarita, and it looks like gasoline, and it tastes like fire. So if you like to catch a buzz as well as maybe light your mouth on fire, she's she's got the cocktail for it. Tastes you. way better than gasoline. This is how this episode starts every week, just random tangents. But we like to start every episode every Every week with the same kind of question, just to kind of get the get to know you feel for us. And usually the best person to get that conversation started is my boy Bama. So Bama, I'm going to let you run with this when I try to figure out the video camera. Okay, take your time. So Katie, are you a transplant or a native? Full on transplant. Full on. Proud Ohioan. Proud Ohioan. Said nobody that's, ever. Yeah, that's the two things. <laughs> Have you, you ever are, met someone from so, Ohio? We yes, are proud. We, our best uh, friends are from Ohio, sadly <laughs> enough. Shout out maybe, to the Meyer is brothers. It, is it like 
Is it like stupid pride or? Oh, I mean, I'm just kidding. That was a little harsh. Hold on, where in Ohio? Uh, right in between Cleveland and Akron. So, are you a Buckeye? Technically. Are you Browns or Bengals? Um, my heart's with the Browns. Not a big sports person, but I'm there for them. All right. You know, okay. we'll check that. I'm out. Commonality <laughs> off. What is what is the most rooting for them? Yeah, that's never a popular. If comment. you're if you're such a proud Ohioan, what's the proudest thing about Ohio? Ooh. That they dictate every election. Proudest thing about Ohio, I think the proudest thing for me is that people around here, like there's a ton of transplants from Ohio, so everyone I meet has a ton of friends from Ohio, and they're always like, oh, those are my favorite people, those are the nicest, like, down-to-earth people. Okay. I thought you yeah. said, like, the Black Keys came from there or something Ooh, but the Black than... Keys do. Yeah, whatever. Drew Carey. <laughs> oh, Drew Carey did come there? And, yeah. and LeBron. Halle so, Berry, I mean... LeBron James. Okay. We got some good Clevelanders. Okay. Oh, yes, because when I think Cleveland, I think Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think sure Halle Berry, I think like Dave Justice. <laughs> Didn't she? I'm going to go with Black yeah. Keys, though. They're one of my favorites. Okay. That's a good question when you start doing who's the most famous person from your town or from your state. Yeah. Ooh, Shout out Oprah, ahead. Mississippi. <laughs> oh, uh, what's damn. Called? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> can't top that. Yeah. <laughs> nope, she gives away free shit all the time. <laughs> Unless yeah. it's Beyonce, you really can't. And speaking of giving away free shit, for those that are listening, we have a great gift car- gift deal for you today. We're going to give away one of the 2020 Denver Dining Decks from Eat 20, or Eat Denver, as well as we're still giving away tickets to Umphrey's. McGee next week, and we got Thievery Corporation tomorrow night for the listeners at home. So make I'll sure you're the Thievery one. Yeah, so make sure you're following Thanks. at Eat underscore Denver and at Stoned underscore Appetit. So that was a great segue there. That was a good one. That All was right. a good one. Um, so when did you? What brought you out to this great state? It was so random. Like I wish I had a really really great story, but oh, you don't need one. I was um, I. Graduated college in North Carolina in um, 2011. Hold on, pause. Like Chapel Hill, Duke, or? Elon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Smaller school. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So we good. <laughs> diehard liberals. Both of we're good. <laughs> yeah, we were in the liberal arts schools. <laughs> yeah, Look exactly. at us now, shining. No one really yeah. knows what it is out here, so I say <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> okay, cool. I know about Elon, but anyways, go ahead. Um, Your rivals and decathlons and like <laughs> debate teams and stuff. All this stuff you that doesn't matter. Oxford or Cambridge, wherever the fuck. Lighting you human dog food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, was, that was terrible. We're gonna have to edit that. Um, anyways, okay. So after Elon. So, yeah, a lot of, no one really stayed in North Carolina at that time. It was, like, before the big kind of, before Raleigh Durham got cool recently, I, I hear. <laughs> yeah, I hear that, too. I hear it. I've yet to hear that. Age, moving there, staying there. Um, and I didn't, you know, there wasn't a lot going on in Cleveland at the time. But I do think, sidebar, I, I do think Cleveland's a really cool city. I just, it's so gray there that I can't keep my eyes open. So, can't live there. Uh, a lot of my friends are going to New York City and L.A., and those just weren't my, didn't feel like my speed. So my mom and I did a road trip out here, which was like 24, 25 hours in a Jeep Wrangler, and we just... Very Thelma and Louise of y'all. Oh, yeah. How is that not Very a cool much. story? Okay, maybe it is a cool story. I mean, it's not that cool. I, but, I mean, call, it's not like yeah, yeah, lame, okay. but yeah. Shouldn't like have that. called it so quickly. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, we came out here and actually landed in the Springs. Dun, dun, oh, dun. that's sweet. <laughs> So Focus what's on your the family? <laughs> that's why she's so big on meth and the smell of gasoline. <laughs> that makes sense now. Nailed it. Shout out to our friends in Pueblo. That was actually directed to you, not our Springs friends. <laughs> they merged together. Um, and my mom went, was going to a conference, and I just took the car and like drove through Denver, went to Boulder. Denver was so weird back then. Like I remember driving through what is now the Union Station neighborhood, and it was just like like that light rail by Devita was brand new and everything else was just kind of a dirt lot over there yeah and i thought i was driving through like the core of downtown and i like i remember stopping in my car and being like what the hell is this? like what kind of downtown this is, is the this? capital yeah. like little did i know that like that was when union station was actually closed for the renovations so anyway i was like skirt gonna go to boulder maybe it's cooler um Landed in Boulder, went to like Mountain Sun, if you guys went to Mountain yeah. Sun, and people were so freakishly nice, and it was so fun in there that I just immediately fell in love with they Boulder. They worked for tips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah. And it's cash only, so. But you probably think like, strippers like you too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was in love one time. Um, I, it, I was like, this is like the dream place to live. So anyway, I moved to Boulder uh, probably a month later. Okay. Yeah, I, I moved yeah. to Boulder when I first moved out here. Yeah, it's a good, like, like, um, gateway town, especially if you're from a small town. Yeah, it's awesome to go in and be there for a minute and then realize, like, after several trips to Denver, it's like, I don't know, Boulder's only 45 minutes away. Denver's got a lot more shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of nice. I got to, like, I lived in Boulder for five years and then would start to come to Denver more and more and more. And it started to really, like... There's, like, some cool shit going on here. Yeah. Like, great food. Killer podcast. Great, yeah. Killer podcast. And that's the number one reason to visit Denver. <laughs> and if you are visiting Denver, what better way than to have the guiding light be a bunch of fucking idiot stoners show you through the food tours? Exactly. A little music. huffing beforehand. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, if we're going to just talk drugs this whole episode, it'll be like Andy Thorne 2.0. Uh, I love it. That's a great concept. So what were you doing up in Boulder? Were you just grinding along, working in the restaurant industry such as ourselves? Because we that's exactly what we did when we got out here. Yeah, I actually, so I moved out here with an internship with a tech company, like right out of Techstars. Uh, it's actually a, a genealogy company. So Rocks? <laughs> like 23andMe? Similar. Oh, genea- I thought they said geology. No. Sorry. Genealogy. Rocks, minerals. I was like, Family wait, trees rocks. Are you about to get into crystals? <laughs> yeah, we're about like to the, really get into drugs. It was like the Google for ancestry, like, documents. Okay. So. That's how we call it the Golden State Killer. <laughs> <laughs> that is Shout true. out to Katie. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, that pervert would be running around murdering folks. Oh, my. So I got to live that life for a little bit. Genealogy and tech don't usually go together, but... Got to dive right in and worked at Salt um, on Pearl Street. Yep. Took um, took a hostessing job while I was interning. So anyway, I did that for a year and a half before I did an internship with 5280 Magazine. Shout out um, to Denise. Shout out to Denise. I hung out with Denise last week. Huge and fan She won't let me and her husband be best friends. It's bullshit. So if you're listening to this, Denise, let me and your husband be best friends. <laughs> I love how you said huge fan of ours. I thought you were going to say huge fan of hers. I mean, we are, but she is a huge fan of ours. <laughs> I could, More importantly. Yeah. Yeah. When we play the game, who's the most famous person you have in your phone? She's one of two people that have the check mark on Instagram, so we got to give it to her. Yes. The other one's Michael Jordan. <laughs> Soon to be Stoned Appetit. Whoa, Michael Jordan's coming on Stoned Appetit? <laughs> Are you Dude, uh, so we Maybe you'll get that check mark soon. Oh, uh, yeah, I doubt it. I, th- I think it takes, like, a, a lot of clout to get that. But who knows? You know, we'll probably get it on Twitter before we get it on Instagram. Yeah. But you never know. So you, what did you do for 5280? I interned in the marketing department. So okay. So helped them with a bunch of events, um, their news segments, um, anything, all things marketing the magazine. Super fun. And for someone that lived in Boulder that wanted to, like, kind of dive into Denver, it was, like, such a cool way to get to know the city through its restaurants and uh, everything that they cover in 5280 Magazine. I'm pretty sure I was, like, the youngest subscriber of 5280 that read the magazine, like, front to back every Wait, so you're saying that young people don't read print media? That's fucking news to us. (laughs) Newsflash. Yeah. Good thing that we have these podcasts that people can lean on for all their intimate knowledge. I was seriously a 22-year-old, new to Boulder, and my mom subscribed me to 5280, and I would literally read it from the credits in the beginning to, like, the restaurant list. That's that Elon education, (laughs) you know, always thirsty for knowledge. Yeah, that, or I didn't have a life. Yeah. So So your social, I guess we're not going to ask you about where you went out in town if you're reading fucking magazines cover to cover. Anyway, she taught me so much, and I feel like, I was only there for six months, but I learned so much about Denver. I learned so much from her about marketing and branding and events. Um, Can you so help like, us with those things? Sure. Thanks. We need a new intern. Charlotte, you know my hourly here. rate. Wait. Well, what if we pick up a you know, can of gasoline? Trades. Put your stamps in and paid in ether. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Uh, Gonza did it. Yeah, that is an awesome way to figure out, like, about a city, though. Yeah. I never even thought about that. Getting an internship with something that's focused on the city. Yeah. Also, internships it was so fun. aren't paid most of the time. Right. It was a grind. Um, it was a grind for sure. And I was working at Lola at the time. 
Tim Boulder.